This year we've been offering classes in Sloyd or Swedish handcrafts to adults and students here at American Swedish Institute. This is part of ASI's mission, to serve as a gathering place for people to share their stories and experiences related to tradition, immigration, handcrafts, and the arts, especially as they are tied to Sweden. The idea of making beautiful and useful objects from natural materials is prevalent in many different cultures, including in Sweden. Take a look at how we're introducing these crafts right here in Minnesota. Uh, well, today we had a workshop with, with the kids, and I was introducing them in fun and fused glass. It's fused glass is a wonderful thing, and all it really amounts to is just piling up a bunch of glass on top of each other, and, or, or other forms of glass, powders, or stringers, or noodles, or you take different forms of glass and you put them together, and then you put them into the kiln, you heat them all up and turn them into one. You know, you, depending on how hot you get it, you can leave it bumpy, a little textured, or you can get it so it's flat and smooth. As long as all the colors are compatible with each other and you can melt them together, then even the smallest pieces are of use. With fusing, it, it, it's a freedom because you're no longer restricted by the shapes having to be cut a certain way so that they fit together you can just plop things down on top of each other and, and get sh wonderful shapes. So it really frees you up design-wise. Fusing is where it's at. I started out many years ago in stained glass and then doing church work. And that led to working in the kiln, firing, you know, in God we trust, uh, or robes and feet. And so then I started looking at the history of kiln formed glass and was really fascinated to find it's 4,000 years old. And for the first 2,000 years, glass blowing wasn't around. So everything was done in the kiln. There were a lot of very sophisticated things that were made in the kiln. And I started to think about that and realize, well, hey, I've got a kiln. Wonder what I can do with that to further than what I already uh, know. So I started investigating all about kiln form glass and it's just fascinating to me because you don't do all the work. Mother Nature has a hand and, and you have elements that work with you, gravity, the heat, uh, these are all partners in making the piece and, and so you, it's, it's unlike anything else that you've ever done because you don't do it all. I mean you, you have an idea of what it is you want and you know based on the temperature that you set the how long you hold it there, you know, different factors like that come into play and, and it's always a fascination to have something cooling in the kiln and you can't wait to see it and, 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 and it never goes away, it's always very, very exciting. Like I have a piece at home right now in the kiln, I can't wait to get home because I get to look at it. So it's, uh, it's kind of like, you know, if you wish you could go to bed at night and wake up and your dishes are all done. It's kind of like that.